Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to the A75 uh, here, Crotherston. And uh, judging by the sound of that truck, we're uh, we're hunting a sheepdog somewhere, folks. Somebody's missing a sheepdog. Anyway, nice to see him, and nice to see this big Scania from uh, Alvin Wallace. It's the TJ Hood top liner there, north, heading for the big boat up at Ken Ryan. Get a lot some. Come on the other way here, we've got that new gen Scania for Carson there. He's heading south and by the sounds of the wind, I think he's wind assisted there, so he should be down in Carlisle in about 10 minutes. Closely followed by the, the Volvo with a bulker on the back here for T French, a comeback. And whilst we're at it, we might as well give some screen time for the wee Ivico there. On the drop side, this little moment of glory there. Familiar fleet, Donald Ellis there. Or Donald and Ellis rather. Nice handy load in the back there. And that good side automotive Volvo FM coming in. A car with the alarm going up the top there. I think that would annoy me. That I think I'd. Uh, be pulling it and I'll lay by some on it with a pair of pliers. That would resolve that issue. But anyway, he's away down the road there. As is that uh, crack and scan your uh, Tyrone transport there. I nearly missed that. Just managed to catch enough of it to see it. A crack and livery. Old Solutions Volvo. Still waiting to catch my first aero, I think, on video. I think I've seen one on uh, on the road and maybe caught a still photo. But still get one on video. And Martin Jolly, Daftware tanker in the back. I'll be heading up to the creamery up at Stranraer possibly. Scan you a bulker on the back there. Chasing them on up the hill there. This looks like a Jenkinson coming up the hill here. So this will be heading up to Dilbeaty there. Heading up the coast somewhere. And there's a, a new one of me, Cross. The horn's going, some kind of agricultural shenanigans going on in the back of that trailer. Feeders or something, maybe. Enough to deliver it to a farmer who's no doubt got no money. <laughs> Leave that controversial point. Here's a Martin Boyle Scania coming down. Not oh, here's the service on the back of that. I think I remember them when they were fairly. In their infancy. Expect Scania, Kilgora. It's a nice tidy load in the back there, I know. Making light work of that climb up at Crothers and anyway, that big Scania. But in contrast, just check it, this attractive plain white daff. And, uh, uh, flathead. Anyway, back on track. Revolver. And, uh, familiar McBurney's colours. So nice to see the, the yellow hanging around. Uh, of course, we've got the DFDS. White livery now. Spot them with the MCB McBurney plates on them, but still nice to see the yellow ones. Big McGrath V8, is that a 770 maybe? No hanging about going up that hill anyway. These are familiar colours, of course, of Robert Burns, now uh, operated by McKeon. Sainsbury's fridge, maybe. He's heading on down the boat. 
down the road there. This is a coach house. And a load of furniture being delivered. I think they ran out of Oldham or Manchester way somewhere. Tyne side glass here. Head back over the east coast. The Carlisle head across the 69 maybe. Just in case you're wondering where we are, there's the sign. Here we are, here's another Dumfries man, Charlie Lauder, again, featured in uh, previous videos. No doubt we'll be seeing some more of him in this one. As I said before, just a, an amazing fleet of liveries, just stunning. Here's a bit of teamwork here, Stevenson Scania being pushed up the hill by the Polar Volvo. A the price of diesel nowadays, it's always good to get a helping hand up the hill, isn't it? And another uh, Volvo. Big fridge that one, are these double deckers? I'm not sure. It's certainly high enough that one. There's a box van on the back of the Scania there. You can still hear the wind in the background, it's getting buffeted all over the place here, but being as stubborn as I am, I'll stand my ground. Everybody in this road must have thought I'm completely daft. I must admit, by this point of the day, I was beginning to agree with them. Anyway, we battled on. A load of straw or hay coming up. I quite tell at the moment. Fair bit of weight on the back there, I should imagine. Get enough bales on anyway. Hopefully they're all there whenever he gets to wherever he needs to be. You quite often see a few lying about on the side of the road, don't you? There's a Hannon scan. I've seen a few of them the other week there when we were over uh, Rotterdam. I think they've got a few bays from about Amsterdam there, maybe. Chris Rich's Volvo. That was a smart looking fleet as well, Chris Hughes rather. Chris Rich's, Chris Hughes, apologies. What's this coming over the hill? It's not a monster, it's a DAF 106. Looks like it's one of Alby's Forestry. Looks like their delivery. I'll be for strip. I'll have to pick a load of logs. There we are, a couple of milk trans tankers. One of these lads contacted us the other day there, the Alex, Alex Johnson. Apologies, it's taken so long to get on and uh, get the video on, Alex, but there you are, son. Another Charlie Lauder's head and sizes. Big gaff this time, but uh, still a stunning looking wagon. Well, I've usually caught one in a video before now, but better late than never. Here's our first man freight of this video. That's another cracker. We really have one of the best looking fleets up and down the country now. Followed by an upbank uh, Scania there with a could be animal extract or something heading back up to uh, Brasswell there. Big Scania for Freeburn. Freeburn Transport. Looking the job. Just to prove it's not just in Lincolnshire, you get uh, these convoys with the tractors up front. There's the fast track, and uh, another one of French's stunning Volvos. The bulk are heading back up the road. So here we are. 
wind this video uh, up now with this uh, cracking Liam Connolly and this uh, livestock truck. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. There's more to come for Kane Ryan, and uh, we'll see you there. Thanks for watching.